Hey, this is Shadow Mantis, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, um, we, we did stop in the last episode, <laughs> I forget, but uh, in this episode we will be heading into the Spirit Temple as a child, because that's what we're supposed to do. What the fuck is, who are you? I haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? Uh, I'm not doing anything. Uh, I'm not doing anything. You have nothing to do? What good timing. Can you do a favor for me, kid? Wait a second. I want to ask you first. You wouldn't happen to be one of Ganondorf's followers, would you? No, oh, I, I hate Ganondorf. He's a big doofus. Uh-huh. You've got guts. I think I like you. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Naburu of the Gerudo. I'm a lone wolf thief. But don't get me wrong. Though we're both thieves, I'm completely different from Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from women and children, and he even killed people. A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race consists only of women. Only one man is born every hundred years. Even though our laws say that lone man Gerudo must become the king of the Gerudo, I'll never bow to such an evil man. By the way, what is your name, kid? Link? What kind of name is that? Well, anyway, I want to ask you for a favor. Will you go through this tiny hole and get the treasure that's inside? The treasure is the silver gauntlets. If you equip them, you can easily push and pull very heavy things. No, 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 kid. Don't even think about taking this treasure for yourself. The silver gauntlets won't fit around a kid like you. So, if you try to equip them, it won't work. I want to be... I want you to be a good boy and give them to me. Gerudo... Jesus Christ. Ganondorf and his mi minions are using the Spear Temple as a hideout. Only the silver gauntlets will allow me to sneak deep into the temple. Once there... I'm going to steal all the treasure inside and mess up their plans. How about it? Will you do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Thanks, kid. You and I, let's give Ganondorf and his followers a big surprise, shall we? If you can successfully get to the Silver Gauntlets, I'll do something great for you. Alright, uh, so let's just go into, into this hole and enter the Spirit Temple. So... As you may be able to know, tell, there's two versions of the Spirit Temple. There is the child version, and there is the adult version. Now, both are very similar. Like, very, very similar. Like, the same layout, just mirrored similar. Like, that similar. So, but they're both not as big as normal temples. Yeah, just die. Just literally die. There. Jesus. Right, now let's get you. No, let's get you. Let's get you. And there's one more. Come on. No, 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 no. There we go. Got him. And that will open up the doors. Well, well, yeah, the doors. So there are five gold skulltulas in this dungeon. Alright, so I'm fighting a pretty strong enemy right here. The Stalfos. He's difficult enough as, a, as an adult, but uh, as a child... He's, he's actually a formidable foe. <laughs> As I say that, I, I kill him. Alright. This part. Oh, God. This... This is one of the parts that actually got me as a kid. Can I just shoot it from here? Wow. Wow, I can. When I... <laughs> What I used to do is I used to uh, just I used to use my uh, my boomerang and try to you know curve the shot, but 
I guess, I guess he can use the slingshot too, so that's good. Alright, blue rupee, uh, are you kidding me? We already had enough of blue rupees in the shadow temple, I mean, come on. Alright, we can use din fire here to kill this guy. So let's do that. That will open the door. If you don't have Din's Fire, which actually I think it's mandatory at this point. Anyways, so what you would do is you'd go over to that part of the room, shoot the switch, and then like go over there or something. It was kind of weird how you did it. But it's just easier to use Din's Fire. Watch out for the shadows. Of oh, God. So, as usual, I'm just going to let it you know, come down on me. And then I'll kill it. Yep. Die. 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 There we go. Now let's collect the silver rupees. You know, there's also a Gold Skull Tula in this room over there. So that'll be fun to check out. That'll be... Are you, are you kidding me? Are you, are you serious? Can you uh, back off, please, you stupid fucking bats? Or was it the Gold Skull Tula? Yeah, it's the Gold Skull Tula that hurt me. Oh. Well, I apologize for my rudeness. Then, can I just... No, I can't. Come on. Where's... Oh, the other one's right behind over there. I was, I was really confused. I was just like, where's the other one then? What could it be? I mean, I have them all. But apparently not. So let's kill the Gold Skull Tula. And that'll be 95. 95% done with the Golden Skull Tula side quest. We got all the heart pieces. This is really coming to a close, guys. This is really coming to the close. And it, it, this is a really short dungeon, too. Like, uh, I might even be able to finish this half of the dungeon in this episode if I try really hard. Because it's, it's really that short. It's not... And the, the second half, although a tad bit longer, it's not that much longer. So, if I made this two 20-minute videos, I could probably, uh... Could probably beat the dungeon. So let's head through here now. Come on. And there's a locked door right there. Right there. There we go. And shoot some gold. No, that's not a gold skull tool. What am I talking about? Shoot some skull tools. There is a gold skull tool right there, though. No, I'll, I'll go check it out once I'm, uh, once I'm up there, I'll kill it. Alright. And get my bow ready, and... Okay, so don't work. No, no. S literally, just get the coin. It's, it's pretty simple. And here we are. The famous light room. It's not that famous, I'm just saying that. Oh, come on. Come on. Can, can I can you die, please? Dynapulse? No, that's Lizapulse. Lizapulse. Dynapulse is like a different enemy. And then there's Stalpos, which literally just scrapes the bottom of the shit barrel. Alright, bomb chews. Nice. This is not the dungeon item, by the way. You could just buy these at any time, if you so wished to do so. So let's me get my bomb chews ready. And see that crack over there? That's where we're supposed to aim with the bomb chews. All right, obviously I didn't aim properly. There we go. Now light signs, sh light signs on this shun. Light shines on the sun, 
And now, I'm pretty sure this door is actually locked. Yep, that door is locked. That one, I need to play the Scarecrow song to get over there. So that will be a Gold Skull Tula we get later on. But I'm pretty sure I can just push this. Yep. To open the door. So let's head on up there. Like I said, this is... It's not a difficult dungeon either. This is actually a really cool dungeon too. I really enjoy like this dungeon. Because, like, uh... It has a lot of cool features that aren't really used in other dungeons, so it feels really new and, like, you know, cool. So, we gotta collect silver rupees again. I, this feature isn't really that cool, because we've seen this, what, a million times already? We've seen it a lot of times, collecting uh, silver, silver rupees. But, I guess it's a way to add to gameplay. It's not the best way, but uh, it's a way. Can I backflip into this? That'd be really cool. No, I can't. I, uh, I obviously cannot. Let's go over there. And then there's the last two. Oh my god, are you kidding me? The last two are in these corners. Then over here, we gotta speed up! Now the torch is lit, so what we will do is grab our Deku Sticks and go around in a circle lighting all these torches. We have nothing better to do. So now over here. There we go. That will make a treasure chest. I don't know what that actually does. Actually, I think the treasure chest might be a key. Yeah, it's probably a key. Oh. Alright, come on. Be a key. Be a key. Don't waste my time. Be no. Oh my god. Me. Literally. <laughs> I can't do this. Alright, good. It's a key. And that only means I have one thing left to do in this room, which is open the locked door. Or the barred door over there. And to do that, I will move these blocks out of the way by, you know, moving them. It's, it's a simple task. And then I'll take this sun block. And I, I, I don't understand how that actually, like, I'm scraping the bottom on the floor. There's obviously no wires or anything. So how can that sun block affect the door. I don't... I don't get it. I really don't. But nonetheless, let's just head through there. And I'm pretty sure the last Gold Skulltula is in there as well. So we will be sure to collect that. Right there. Collect it. And... Let's head on through to the mini-boss. Now, there will be two more Gold Skotulas, but in the other part of the dungeon. Now, this guy... What I like to do for this is I like to grab my, uh, my bombs and my bomb chews. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I like to keep away from him because he does a lot of damage. So what I like to do is I like to just throw bombs at him from a distance because they do a lot of damage to him. And, uh, you know, you're, you're relatively safe. Actually, they don't do that much damage to him. Actually, yeah, they do. I mean, they do. nope. Don't touch me. Don't. Now, bomb chews also work wonders with this. You can just put them on the ground. You gotta be strategic with the throwing of the bombs, but the bomb chews, you just place them on the ground and you just go. And, uh, there we go. We beat them. So let's head over here, exit the dungeon, and oh my god, 
Hey, Link, what's up, Link? Are surprised to see me? I, I don't remember his voice, I apologize. A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? Even though I, I, even I thought the tales of a boy who could travel back and forth through time was merely a legend. Link, you have fully matured as an adult. From now on, the future of all people in Hyrule is on your shoulders. Maybe it's not my time anymore. Here is my last advice. Yes, last advice. Two witches inhabit this temple. In order to destroy them, turn their own magic power against them. Hoot hoot! Do you want to hear what I said again? No! And I never want to hear what you say ever again. Thank you and goodbye, young prince. Alright, I don't know why I called him that, because I, I literally hate that character. So, yeah. And we got the silver gauntlets. We can't wear them. So, let's just give them to Naburu. These gauntlets won't fit a kid, plus you promised to give them to Naburu. You should keep your promise. What's happening? Hey, where are you taking me? Yeah! Let go! You, you fiends! Ganondorf's minions! Link, get out of here now! These witches, they're using barking... Did she just... Did she just drown in the sand? Even Link's like, what the fuck was that shit? <laughs> Look at him, he's just like, where'd she go? What happened? Oh, God. Well, that was a sight to behold right there. So I think I'm gonna end it off here. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode as an adult. So thanks for watching and goodbye. Goodbye!